Hello and welcome back to the part two of this where I don't even know what to call this yet. I'll know by the time it's posted. But uh, let's get back into this word because it's getting good. Um, so he ends up jumping back into himself. Your husband is about to arrive when he jumps into himself he comes into the realization that this is the day that he was supposed to initially go on the date with his wife the first time do I need to just leave that right there and let that simmer for like a whole minute Am I the only one that's getting excited right here? This means that you and your husband are about to have your first interactions with each other. And y'all need to get ready because you's about to go on a date. Okay, moving on to the next point. Um, so this is the day that he is about to engage his wife. No, you didn't just say engage. Okay. You think you funny, Jesus? Mm-hmm. So, and it's funny, one of the other two numbers, I don't know whether it was 20. 23 or 2051 one of the uh parentheses words was engage so yeah i'm gonna say it jesus your date is going to end up with you coming out of that date with a ring mm -hmm. I've been hearing it, engagement ring, engagement ring, engagement ring, ready, wedding. I was watching a food program earlier today, a food program. And I had that on while listening to one of the uh, words that I hadn't listened to yet. And you know how like when there's a gap or a pause and the person stops talking in that open space, I heard while I was watching the um food program the person said ready and I could have swore that I heard wedding I I heard the two words interchangeably and then later I was listening to something else and I heard the the person on television say engagement ring that's the only word that I my ear tuned into some of you the date will be your engagement. Okay. So, with that being said, this is where the timeline of this quantum leap meets that quantum leap. Sam was the original leaper from quantum leap back in the 80s and 90s. His daughter, who works for them, he works with, um, she works with the boss. I always reference him as the God character in relation to the way that he operates in this grouping. So in 2023, which, what did we determine 2023 represented? I think it was the 
the equivalent or something. Wait, is it still here? 2023, the equivalent to show or afford by deed, a uh, mountain or boulder. So this relates to a blockage. There was an instruction. This could be considered a decree, a deed, what have you. His instruction, just like when God gave Satan instructions, Ben had instructions of what he was not to do. Number one, don't interact and mess up the timeline. Meaning you got to keep this timeline exactly to what you did in the day that it occurred. Don't change nothing. Number one. Two, don't tell your wife what you know. Number three, uh, changing anything could affect the lives of the people that were involved with this junk. It could literally destroy their existence. Your God-ordained spouse has an understanding that what he does right now could literally alter the trajectory of his life, your life, and the people involved drastically. God has given him specific instructions as to how to execute this maneuver okay he knows what he needs to do okay and he goes back to his wife his wife who is of course operating the computer in the present day as a hologram tells him don't mess with the timeline. Now you know. What you think he gonna do? <laughs> it wouldn't be TV if he didn't mess with the timeline, right? The enemy. Remember in our previous word where we were talking about false evidence appears real? Remember the enemy that stabbed him in the neck and almost killed him? In that leap, an altered time. Mm -hmm. Remember, that enemy is here during this leap, attempting to go after his wife. For some of you, the reason it has taken so long is your God-ordained husband has been strategically waiting for an enemy to be dealt with and getting specific instructions on how to deal with that enemy. So that enemy, when you come into the situation, does not attempt to take you out. He trying to keep you safe. He came back as himself. Your God ordained spouse is within himself, knows his identity, is in his right mind, is 100% secure within himself. And he knows when he comes to you, you will trust him. Okay? They meet up and he bumps her, which I'm assuming is not the way that he originally met up with her that day. She drops her things, looks up, and you know it's that kismet moment of, 
oh my god it's you and he's like oh my god and it's that you know the the, the lackadaisical whimsy moment of you know the googly eyes that you give each other she's looking at him he's looking at her like i, I haven't seen you for all my entire life <laughs> But they have a recollection of each other. When you and your daughter dang spouse meet, you ever know you ever heard men say it was like I already knew her? Or you've ever heard men say that I knew that was my wife the second that I saw her? And you'd be like, How did you know that was your wife the second that you saw her? Is that <laughs> um Everyone is cheering because it's date night. One, spiritually, when you and this man come into contact, every angel that was backing y'all, backing you, backing him, there's going to be cheers in the heaven. And it's funny, I was listening to a word from Bowl for Christ as she was talking about in relation to something that was going on in her life that a, the Lord gave her a dream of a choir singing that's what it's gonna be like for y'all when y'all finally get together it's gonna be like every angel that has been backing y'all up until this point is going to be finally like hallelujah 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 because it's like finally these two are together and they can finally see that we wasn't lying to them the whole time <laughs> Uh, she says you must be careful you can't tell her while why you're here okay which I just said they go on the date. Now, this is an interesting concept because he's sitting there with the hologram of his wife sitting directly next to him and his wife in their first date directly in front of him. And his wife is trying to strategically instruct him. I'm reminded of the word that I gave talking about the supernatural GPS system and how my father was having an issue with listening to my directions. <laughs> he wanted to do his own thing because he was sitting in front of him, his wife and his wife is telling him, no, no, no. Remember, I don't know what you do yet. I don't understand what you do yet. Pause to you guys. You are going to be coming into a, a revelation with your God ordained spouse. When you two come into your first date, you don't know how much he know. He don't know how much you know. Until y'all sit down and have an actual conversation, you don't know what he remembers. You don't know how much he knows. Because you don't know how much he knows, you can't be sitting up here altering and sitting up here jumping up, jumping the gun, sitting up there telling them, Everything you know upon meeting. If he don't say nothing, you don't say nothing. Keys to the Kingdom released a word called chess moves. You're about to enter into a serious relationship. In that, she spoke about you wait for him to move, then you move. I've been talking to y'all about chess for how long? I guess I'm the one that explains what that means because God's been showing me strategically the whole time. When he moves, you move. Don't you be out here acting a fool. When he move, you move. The wife was trying to tell him exactly how to deal with her because she knew how she was back then. He couldn't remember. He was just trying to focus on the fugaziness of the fact that, oh, I'm finally in the presence of you again. And she's like, 
snap out of it. You're here for a reason. Don't get lost. You are here specifically because of something. Don't lose your cool, okay? Why are you here? He decides midway to date, sorry, can't follow this direction. Something happens. There is a level of interference that ends up leading them to go outside. The devil always going to bring a distraction. Remember in the previous part, I told you that the narcissist triggered her to throw the cure away. The enemy will try to trigger you to jump the gun ahead of time. Remember in that word I talked about, you have to stand still and wait. A lot of us have been in a wait mode. And that's what the Lord was showing me about that word from Bold for Christ. That you cannot take an offer, an opportunity, or move ahead of God before God says move because you can get uh, something that's sustainable for where you are right now. But God's trying to exalt you to a higher level. You need to pay attention to what needs to happen. And the enemy is always going to try to trigger you, distract, in order for you to destruct or derail God's plan. God can course correct you, but you know that takes a minute. I said that in the, the supernatural GPS system. That he will always try to get you off track. God already knew when you were going to mess up because he was the one that was in control, right? So they end up getting outside and he feels like I can't hide this no more. So he turns around and he tells her and his wife, who is the hologram, is in a bit like, no, 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 didn't I just tell you you can't tell it? And, she's, and he ignores her and look at how the devil works. That was almost like an on-time moment. I guess the devil mad then, huh? That was my neighbor, but look at how, <laughs> look at how timely that was. <laughs> so, um, she was told. And once she was told, she was looking at him like, you know, that is like the premise to the movie Terminator, right? Some of you, you have to make sure that you test the waters. Your God of Dane spouse is going to test the waters too, but you got to test the water to make sure your God of Dane spouse know, knows what's going on. Because if he don't know what's going on, he may be looking at you like you're crazy. You got to be very cautious in that first meeting. He's going to be cautious and you're going to be cautious. What did I say about chess moves? Let him make the first move, you follow. But if these men know, they're going to be a little anxious because they're going to want to talk. They're going to want to tell you things because they want to ask questions because they need to know certain stuff. So what ends up happening is he puts her in the car and tells her to go back home. Your God ordained spouse, and this is bringing me back to a word by prophetic poetry. Your God ordained spouse is trying to protect you. In it, the wife was standing there while people were uh, coming into the apartment. Ain't that lined up? And from the movie Heat. And she signaled at the window for the husband to leave in order to protect her or protect him. And in the movie Fear, well, look at how that comes back around. The movie Fear, um, Mark Wahlberg's character was about to attack the house with his gang of goonies. And um, Reese Witherspoon was trying to get the family out the house. It's about a level of protection. So, he tells the wife to go back to the apartment. 
the instructions that your husband gives you in this moment will determine and deem what move happens next. Some of you will be becoming engaged and eloping same time. Some of you will be becoming engaged and either moving into a separate place from your husband until your wedding or you will be moving in with your husband until your wedding but in a property that's big enough that has separate spaces for the both of you and if the Lord trusts you enough to move you in with your spouse that means he trusts you not to have sex with your spouse until y'all get married. He's testing you in your temptation realm. But God will determine, which interestingly enough, as soon as she gets in the car, she calls the boss. I told you in the previous Review I did talking about Quantum Leap. I called the boss our God figure. She calls him and tells him everything that he told her. When you and your God ordained spouse come into contact with each other, he's going to tell you some things. When you hear what he has to say, you will take it back to who? God. And then make a determinant of what your next move going to be through what God tells you next. So, with that, uh, so, moving to the next note, she Tells, yeah, she already already did. She tells, and this is what, what I wanted to add here. When she tells the God figure what she um, assumes is going on, but there's something about the way that she's acting that makes me almost feel like her spirit recognizes his spirit to a degree that she's actually playing possum. She seems like she's uncertain, but there's a, a surety that's a sense through her eyes. Like, she isn't sure for all intents and purposes of what you see, but even her demeanor feels like she still trusts him. She trusts him. And that is exactly why he wanted to come back as himself because he knew she would trust him. And the funny part about it is his wife, which is her in the future, is telling him, I don't think she trusts you like that. Because I wouldn't. And she's like, he's in a bit of, I know you. When they're on the elevator coming up, he's like, I know you. I'm telling you, I know that you will trust me. Only for when she when the elevator doors open up. Let me pause here for a second and get, just talk about this elevator thing, okay? They were taking the elevator. Your God of Day spouse is elevating upon having coming in contact with you and your first encounter. Somebody I was listening to, don't remember who it was. I've listened to about three people in the past couple hours so I cannot think of which person it was but they spoke about your God ordained spouse will be elevated upon coming into contact with you there are things in his life that could not move until he came into contact with you and upon him coming into contact with you will bring about elevation for him he may not completely understand but you're still technical to support for him 
even if he's with you, your spiritual prayer life has already gone forth before you and spoken to him. So just like she's the hologram, you'll spiritually still be in the back of his ear. Certain things that you've prayed, certain things that you've done, certain things that spiritually you've given each other past notes in your dream life or what have, wherever it was. Whatever it was spiritually, God is saying you're still going to be directing him in a way. But your present is going to be a little bit different because it's almost like the person that you are in the spirit is not who you are in the natural. That's the division of the two. It's almost a split between identities. The hologram version of her is her spirit version when she speaks to him. But the one that's in front of him, he's seeing her as her self. You're going to be yourself in front of this person. You're not going to be prayer warrior version of yourself. I'm not going to be the one that's on this phone with my God dang husband. So, I'm going to be myself. The me that is every day ain't talking like this 24-7. I'm peaceful, quiet, calm, and I'm also a little bit cautious and discerning. And that's exactly what she was. Because when that elevator door opened, she was standing there with a gun talking about, what are you talking about? The rest of the team is on the way here. You've got a, exactly this amount of time to explain to me what in the world is going on. You maybe come to a point where either the truth of the matter is going to need to come out in a time frame. Pray to God about that. Because remember, she prayed before. Well, not she prayed. She called our God figure, which would be us praying before we came into contact with them the second time. Pray before you meet with him every time. Because if God is speaking to him, he's the conduit between you and God once you come in contact with him. Okay? And you need to make sure God's speaking through him any time. Every time, every time, <laughs> it's his own thought processes and keys to the kingdom just did a word calls your God ordained spouse is going to prophesy to you. There you go. Uh, da, 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 da. So I'm trying to find where I'm at in the note. He's trying to talk her down. So he's talking to her. Your God ordained spouse is going to come to you, or this may be vice versa. Your God ordained spouse, you may be the one talking them down because they're a little nervous about you. And if you talk too fast, they might be a little bit hesitant because this whole situation has spooked the heck out of them. You have to talk to them in a way that they will hear you just because you're spiritually aware and you know God talks to you you got to pray for them so that they will be open to hearing what you have to say that their ear gates are open and their eye gates are open to the spiritual understanding so that when y'all sitting there talking that they ain't, ain't backing away from you in the name of Jesus because remember they are, they, they, they are not as spiritually as aware I hear this even with Megan Michelle she said this that when it comes down to her and talking to her God or dang spouse about what God talks to her about. She has to be very cautious of how she talks to him because she hears it and she talks too fast. And he's not ready to hear everything that she's saying, but they do have a communication level. She gets frustrated because of the fact that she has to not so much dumb it down, but so on and so forth. You may have to numb it down so that they can hear and understand what you're saying because if you're talking too fast, they'd be like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. 
So, um, he says, she's not going to shoot me. Why am I hearing shoot the messenger? Y'all the messenger, okay? You're bringing the message. She tries to shoot at him. When the S, when, when the elevator opens up, the alarm goes off and it's a distraction. You want me to bring this in here, God? I don't have much time, but I'll bring this point up. Lord's referencing me back and I'm going to bring this up in the fullness of it in my next word. But the word, the judgment when I said, here comes the judge in the second part, there's a point where the husband has to distract. This is the same maneuver that occurs right here in this moment. He distracts the, um, she misses and shoots the, uh, fire extinguisher. The alarm system goes off, lights going off, all kinds of foolishness. The elevator opens up. And I think he jumps back on with the hologram version of her, if I'm not mistaken. And she the version of her from that year, 2018, runs off. So, the building has been infiltrated. So, they now know that it's coming to a point that this Ian guy has already made it into the building. And this is dangerous because this can alter the entire timeline. Okay. So in present time, uh, the person that created the security system, I'm going to say this right here. You have spiritual security. Angels are protecting you in the midst of these things happening. You are protected. Gabriel, Michael, all figure out what your security angels are. Use them in moments necessary. I'm not going to stay on this. We got to come to the next part of this word. So I'm going to come back and start back where I'm at. Uh, so... I will be right back in the next one. Okay.